What's up people, it's DHAWS here and today I have the promised tutorial on how to do Pokemon Stadium 1 and 2 online uh, in fact this works for any Nintendo 64 game but I will focus on those so yeah, uh, I have to talk about three points in this tutorial and the first one is something called port forwarding as you're seeing here yeah, uh, why do we need this? Uh, because with this emulator we connect through uh, one player is the server and other is the the host, the invited, the client. And yeah, uh, well, uh, for this to work, if if the host is using a Wi-Fi router or to connect to the internet, uh, to assure this to work, uh, that person has to do what is called port forwarding and yeah I'm not going to do a tutorial about that because that is different uh, depending on which router do you have so yeah uh, I will just leave some links and if you are not included there uh, well Google don't buy it and yeah you for example you can put here I don't know I have an SMC uh, router so you put port forwarding and your router and here on YouTube you can find those tutorials yeah so well uh, well that was the first thing I wanted to talk and now let's go to the uh, to the netplay so yeah I will leave the the download link and well you will receive this package and after extracting it uh, you will have this folder with the project 64 emulator and all the things you know you need for uh, I include the ROMs of Pokemon Stadium 1 and Pokemon Stadium 2 and uh, sub files uh, with all the, the the stadiums unlocked so yeah let's go to the configuration of the emulator for playing online so uh, when you open it uh, there will appear a list of games of the ROMs if you don't have this you have to go to file uh, choose ROM directory and choose this folder uh, as as the ROM directory so yeah after doing that we're going to go to options settings and yeah here it will appear these windows and it's important that this option is unmarked because yeah if you mark it uh, the emulation will pause uh, while the window is not active and that will make uh, the emulation crash while doing net play so yeah here you can choose uh, here now we go here and choose the plugins so yeah for video and audio plugins uh, I use this which work for me and well uh, you can try the others and, and see which one works better with you uh, but the important thing here to do the net play is here on the controller plugin. So for the net play, we are going to choose this one, the AQZ net play version 0.20. So we choose that, we click apply, and OK. And yeah, then we, then we go to options, configure control plugin. So here uh, we select the Shabos direct input and we can configure it as you see in this window so yeah you put the, the the controls however you want and you have to make sure that only control 1 is plugged in so yeah control 2 3 and 4 have this option un unchecked and player 1 has this option checked so we hit ok and now we are ready to connect so uh, here uh, what both players need to do is to open the game in this case I'm going to show with Pokemon Stadium 2 and this window is going to pop up so yeah on the windows the instructions are very clear for example you type uh, bar name and then you enter your name and, and hit enter and yeah it works like that so to to connect what do you have to do uh, well the one who is going to be a server has to type uh, bar server and the port they are using uh, well and that is why we need the port forwarding I'm going to write just six five five three five that is the port I always use and then you hit enter 
and yeah, your your name will appear here, and well, all these things. So after the the server is is ready, is up, uh, you need to the 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 one who is server has to give his IP to the to the client. So yeah, you can check it on on the web. For example, I use this page, what's my ip.com and yeah, you just copy this and you sh you need to give it to the to the one who is the the client. And yeah, so the client has to write bar connect write the IP of the server and write the port. And yeah, then it just hit enter and uh, yeah, his name will appear here and both players can chat on, on this part. So yeah, for the game to, to start when both are ready, the server has to type start and uh, well, the game, will, the game will start soon after doing that. As you are seeing here. Yeah. So yeah, here is stadium and well, you can just go and battle on the private menu. Yeah, that was the, the second thing and, and lastly uh, I'm going to explain how to to transfer your pokes from from your Game Boy games uh, so you can play with your opponent with your own Pokemon made on Pikasad. So yeah, you need to have a, a ROM of first or second gen depending on if you're using Stadium 1 or Stadium 2 and uh, well for this we are going to need another settings so we go to options settings and we are going to change the plugin of the controller to the one called enrage direct input so we apply okay and then we go to configure controller plugin so yeah on this this part we configure all the controls uh, how however we want and then we go to controller pack and on controller pack you need to select here transfer pack and have checked this raw data and yeah it will appear this so on this part you are going to choose your your ROM file in my case I'm going to use Pokemon Crystal and here the save file uh, corresponding to that ROM so yeah we click on save and uh, we enter Pokemon Stadium 2 so now we need to register our team here. So yeah, press start. Here it will appear on the control uh, a cartridge and my name and identification on the game. Which it's all working all right. So we go to the white city and we go to free battle. So yeah, here on free battle we are just going to uh, go to really matter, free battle, blah blah and here we go to register so yeah we hit on that and uh, we are going to choose our cartridge so yeah here uh, it's my party in the game I will put those pokes or you can also select the pokes on your box so so here my, my party is ready okay and here quit so after the that uh, it's our team is going to be registered here and uh, what we need to do now is to close the emulator and go to the save folder and here we have the Pokemon Stadium 2.fla so this file we are going to uh, give it to, to the other player and uh, we have to transfer it and the other player has to do the same steps and register its his team too, and uh, then give give you the this file back. So uh, both players have both teams registered. If if you don't do that, uh, this won't work. So yeah, you have to make sure both have the same sub file. And well, after both have put it on on this folder, you can just play as I as I teach you with the Accuseta like you said, uh, plugin. Yeah, remember, go to settings and you change it here and you can battle. 
So I hope that uh, you understand how to do this and that many people is going to play this. And I'm seeing you next time. Bye.